Today we want to present you another project which is worth attention. Please welcome Kudos. First of all, let's clarify what it is and what pros and cons it has. So, to start with, the Kudos network is a layer 1 blockchain and layer 2 computation and oracle network designed to ensure decentralized, permissionless access to high performance computing at scale and enable scaling of computing resources to 100 thousands of nodes. As it was said before, Kudos network is a layer 1 blockchain and layer 2 proof-of-stake network built on using the Cosmos SDK and Tandem in protocol. Parent company Cuda has successfully scaled a distributed supply based of customer hardware to over 60,000 daily active devices in more than 145 countries with. They have achieved this with the 2019 release on their first product, Cuda Miner, a management console for hardware owners looking to monetize their hardware sets. Moreover, the Qudus network will get blockchain to cloud computing providing the first fully decentralized and distributed blockchain cloud ecosystem for both on-chain and off-chain consumers end-to-end. -end. The Qudus was found in 2017 by multiple award-winning tech entrepreneur Matt Hawkins, who previously founded, built and sold C4L, a data center network and cloud infrastructure company which run approximately 1% of the UK internet infrastructure. As we can see, the project has an extremely strong and professional team which completely know what to do. Built on the Cosmos blockchain and utilizing the Tandemin protocol for network governance, the Qudus network will provide a global, distributed and highly secure network able to distribute more intensive workloads out to the underlying layer 3 Qudus platform. Qudus platform is quite widespread. It works in over 145 countries and used by over 300,000 users. You may ask me, Fun Taylor, what is the role of Qudus? And then I will answer that the Qudus token serves as network governance and operations, a staking mechanism for receiving blockchain and cloud workloads, and as a medium of exchange, MOE. Which is more, I must clarify what Qudus is trying to solve. First of all, scaling on blockchain is both expensive and limited in the type of use cases it can support. Qudus solves this issue by providing a highly scalable layer 2 and 3 solution, connected both on-chain and off-chain consumers to the network via smart contracts and IPIs. Pretty intelligent, isn't it? Now let's talk about a token. Qda has its own ERC20 token, which is called Qdus, which powers the blockchain part of the network and allows all participants to stake and earn rewards and discounts. You will have many benefits from owning this token, which is the utility one that will pay the validator and compute nodes on the network for their computer power. Qdus token is both a medium of exchange and a staking token used to lock value into the network, generating staking rewards for stakers on the network. There is a maximum supply of 10 billion Qdus released over a 10-year period, starting from the 11th January 2021. The total supply of 10 billion Qdus is distributed as follows. 34% ecosystem and community development, 33.78% reserve, 20% team, 5% advisors, and 7.22% to pre-sale token holders. User funds will be as follows. 30% research and product development, 10% administration and operations, 20% marketing, 10% Qudus validator nodes, CVN, 13% users acquisition, 10% community engagement, and 7% contingency. As for the statistics, here we have some interesting facts. There are more than 300,000 accounts created in Qudus. It is used in more than 145 countries in files in this network. There are more than 60,000 daily active devices contributing to this ecosystem. They are generating approximately $5 million revenue per month. 
the team raised $10 million in funds overall. That's all about the facts and let's move on. I would like to tell you about the roadmap because it's a paramount part of every project. In the Q4, the team plans to launch mainnet of chain compute requests, bridges to other blockchain including Ethereum and Algorand. In the Q4 and Q1 of 2022, they plan to create token migration. It's a transition from ERC20 token to Qdus native chain and token. Speaking about the benefits of using the token. If you are a token holder, then you will have the opportunity of staking, high staking rewards proportionally shared across all stakers, and proportionate share of network transactions fees mainnet. To draw a conclusion, I would like to thank all of my viewers for watching my videos. I'm so grateful that I have you in my life. You can ask me every question you have in the comments down below. There you can also find all the necessary links on the cutest project. Let's wish them a very good luck and I promise that I will observe all the news of the project and keep you acknowledged. Bye-bye!